Hey friends, welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. Today I wanted to start a series on playing through Wolfhart's Opus 45, Book 1. You may be working on that or have worked on some of it. I just wanted to tell you each time what I would do, and I use this book quite often for my students. Number one, it's for what I use this book for is for reading to kind of get the skills, get used to doing an etude book, just spur of the moment reading, not preparing too much, um, and then sometimes getting some experience in various keys so that you can just switch gears. In this video we'll do number one, and we're in the key of C, and I'm not, not really looking for anything fancy, I'm just looking for good intonation, use of fourth fingers, good technique, and it looks like what Wolfhard is saying at the top of the page uh, is hold the fingers down as long as possible. If you've watched any of my DiBerio tutorials, which I'll link right here, you will have uh, worked on, eventually you'll come across the video about the two rules of fingering. And so I do look for good technique, that being one of the basic rules in good technique, holding fingers down where possible. Um, another thing that he tells us to do is to keep the wrist still, the left hand of the violin hand wrist. So that is a challenge for a lot of people that I give this book to because of the, in the key of C you're playing low two and also then four. And a lot of times people will do weird things with their hands. So this is easy enough and it uses all the strings that um, you could try to maintain good left hand position. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to play through this at a slow pace and here we go. Okay, as I was playing, I was thinking about all the great technique that is in this etude. So if you'll notice at the top of this page, there are plenty of variations that you could use, and maybe you would like to. <laughs> I don't make my students do this because it just seems like overkill. In the following um, etudes in this book, you will get all these bowings. So, um, and I also, along with that, I do exercises from Sevchik, one of which is 
subject um, Opus 1, Book 1, Part 1, Number 11, which has all these Boeing challenges in it. So, uh, I think that there's enough technique just in the original variation that I don't make my students do like slurring all eight to, uh, in a measure or anything like that that's written up there. So you can do that if you want to. Each measure is a different Boeing and just challenge if that's fun to you. Um, but what I look for is a good strong sound, great intonation, use of fourth finger, make sure you do that where it's indicated, because C major and just playing it in tune sometimes is lots of good clean string crossings. Um, and C major, as I was saying, is difficult for violin uh, because it uses all natural fingers, and we can get into that in another video. Well, anyway, I hope this one helps, and um, if you have any questions about Wolf Heart 45, Book 1, Number 1, leave them in the comments section. I hope you will like this video, and I'll see you in Number 2.